Hello Year 11, I'm here to tell you about your formative assessment that is now on week 6 of your website. I have it here in front of you, it's in week 6 in learning activities and assessment. Now I'm going to walk you through this assessment so you know exactly what you need to be doing. The assessment is a multimodal um, task, so I'll go through what we're looking for first. Your instructions are to make a two minute audio visual about Gari. Um, now we are not looking for an analysis of the techniques used in Gari, we want you to have a look at an issue presented in Gari. So some of those issues might be Aboriginal dispossession, it might be Aboriginal loss, it might be misrepresentation of the truth, it might be the ideas of names and meaning, it might be the idea of sensationalism and the impact of that on the wider community. So there are all different possibilities that have come in the text, but there are more as well. Um, you, so that you need to look at a deeper exploration of it. One of the other ways you can do it is to look at a different perspective or an issue related to the text. You can see that here. Yeah, look, I'll highlight it there. Okay, so a different perspective of the text might be you are looking at um, maybe a tourist that's coming to Fraser Island in the 21st century and looking at the uh, Eliza Fraser story and then looking at the local butchler people and trying to figure out where the truth lies. It might be if you're a... Um, a white person living on Fraser Island and you're having to discuss changing the name to Gari about the implications that has on you. It might be that you discuss um, some of the other shipwreck survivors from Fraser Island when uh, when Eliza Fraser was there because there was a few men who were saved as well and their reactions to their survival time on the island and it might have been different to Eliza Fraser's. So there's some ideas. It might be you looking at an Aboriginal perspective and how um, they coped with, with Eliza Fraser coming to the island. Uh, keep looking. There's lots and lots to explore in there as well. And it might be a rebuttal to an issue presented in Gary. And it, so it might be the way that it was presented. It might be um, its lack of rigorous debate about the Eliza Fraser story. So that might be a rebuttal that you have in there. Then you have to create, when you decide on your issue, the next thing you have to do is decide how to present your issue. It is a multimodal text, which means you need to engage the audience in different ways. So here, uh, when we look up here, these are different ways that you can use multimodal text. So you can write in your multimodal text, you can speak or use music in, or even sound effects in your multimodal text text or you can use pictures paintings videos and graphics so that way your your responder is having to read listen and view and that gives them a variety of ways that they can react to the text the last thing you have to do is here and that is you have to put a reflection in you've just done a reflection for your last assessment so you are probably well aware of the um, demands of that particular activity um, you need to do the same thing. You need to say what techniques you used and what your um, intended effect was on the audience. Okay, and so as always, you need to be really purposeful in the decisions you make as you construct this multimodal text. We're not looking for analysis, but we are looking for deep symbolism and understanding and empathy and sympathy for the issues that have been raised in Gary. Okay, let's have a look further on. Let's go over and put this off. Um, let's over here to our content page. Now on this page, I have here a Powtoon video. What I did was I wanted to see if I could make a multimodal text. So I, I made you, it's for about a minute and it gives you some ideas about how you can use multimodal um, techniques in your text okay and um, I also have here an example from last year now when you look at that example it's going to give you lots of ideas but what you'll see is that the person there used a lot of symbolism and 
and um, showed a real connection to the issues in the text, not analysis of the actual text. Okay, and I will load this video on, on here as well. On here, this is additional resources. What I have added in is, oops, I'm on the wrong way. Let me jump down. Additional resources here. Is I have added in some HSC texts that I have found on the internet. Now, these HSC texts are multimodal, but their actual task was to analyse their text. So, essentially, what they've done is an essay as a multimodal form. So, don't attack this task like they have attacked it, this task. Um, but have a look through, and you can be inspired by the choices they made and the different visuals that they chose to do. I'll just play you, I do like this one here, how this one starts. So I'll just play you so you can see what it looks like at the start. So you can see there a mix of visual um, techniques she's also talking a lot these have a lot of talk we are less interested in um, you building up a big speech um, but we're more interested in your use of symbolism and techniques so only build up a speech if that is how you want to present it you don't have to do it when you look at the exemplar you'll see that he didn't build up a speech at all he did talk but not um, in an essay style. And the last thing I have for you is next week. There's no new instructions for next week, but I did put up a little um, video about creating multimodal text, which is very sweet from another teacher who posted it online. So there are your examples. Remember, we are looking for depth in your understanding of the key issues presented in the text. We are looking for you to be inspired in the way that you present it. And we are looking for you to respect, reflect on those purposeful choices that you made. The different um, uh, online sources that you can use or apps you can use include um, stop motion, Animaker, Powtoon, um, or there's lots of different animation packages. You might just prefer to use your own um, iMovie that you are very comfortable with. Go into this task with a really open creative mind. You have lots of skills needed to do this. And you'll find that once you start and sort of um, brainstorm your initial ideas, you'll find that you have lots of skills and the creativity needed to attack this. So enjoy it um, and we are very excited to see what you come up with. Thank you, Year 11. Oh, any questions? Make sure you ask your teachers, post them on the classroom. I'm sure you have lots and that's okay. Um, but post it on the classroom and, it, and your teachers will answer them specifically. Thank you.